Hello and welcome back to the Redwood Violin where we've been having some technical troubles. Uh, my computer has gone to the repair shop for a week so uh, there's, I haven't been able to do any video editing and instead what I'm going to do is give you a quick uh, one-shot tour of the workshop and show you some of the projects I've been working on this week. So I'm just going to work my way down the bench starting with this um, pot of dirt from uh, this I got from after the glass fire um, this is from under a tree that burned and it scorched the earth and turned it this red color and I'm going to be making a pigment out of that. Next I have in this jar um, that's uh, steel wool with some vinegar and water I'm hoping to get iron into the liquid uh, which I will mix with the contents of this pot, or some of it. Um, the liquid here, I've been boiling um, acorns, and this contains tannin. That mixed with the iron and mixed with these um, hulls from these black walnuts, um, those are traditional recipe for making a uh, ink which I will be able to use for writing on the label that goes inside the violin. Um, here's my collection of pine sap that I've been collecting from around the county. And uh, that's going to be the main ingredient for the varnish that goes on the outside of the violin. This week I built a still because not only am I going to melt the, the resin, um, I'm also going to be collecting the, the fumes that come off and um, down here I'm hoping that pure turpentine is going to come out and collect in this jar. Another thing I built was um, I have this large sea clamp and I'm going to use that um, in part of my walnut press. So the other main ingredient for the varnish is walnut oil. Um, I've got a bag of walnuts here and uh, I'm going to load this tin can that I've perforated and put in this piston here and squeeze it and with any luck um, pure virgin first press walnut oil is going to come out of there and it's going to make some amazing varnish. First thing I have to do though, before I can test it, um, I don't even know if that thing's going to work. Um, I've got to crack all these walnuts. Uh, <clears throat> another project that's been going on is the fittings for the violin. So these black parts that you see here, these are all ebony. Uh, this is the chin rest and the tailpiece, fingerboard. Um, I need to reproduce those um, out of our local um, manzanita and I've made a start on them um, chin rest and tailpiece and finally um, this week yesterday in fact I uh, got delivery of these uh, wood shavings um, from well I went up to see Marilyn Buss who is a uh, a natural dye enthusiast and a couple of weeks ago I sent her some of these wood shavings and she's dyed them black for me using um, mushrooms and uh, what are these are going to be used for is I'm going to turn them into a little black and white strip called purfling and these strips get inlaid around the perimeter of the the front and the back of the violin um, so yeah, we went up to Casadera yesterday to meet Marilyn and um, my uh, field videographer Mira came with me. Uh, her computer is working fine so we're hoping to have that uh, video ready and up and uh, you should go visit it because uh, it was a very interesting visit. We saw a lot of uh, good stuff about various natural dyes. Um, Anyway, when I get the computer back, I'll make little summary videos of each of these processes. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for visiting and see you next time.